In this introductory video, I'm going to look through the Enroute interface. In the default Enroute 7 interface, all the tool icons are grouped at the top of the window, and the snap icons are grouped to the left of the workspace. One of the first things you'll notice in a new drawing is that many of the tool icons are disabled. This is because Enroute automatically keeps track of the objects in the workspace and which objects are selected and only activates the tools that are appropriate. If I add a rectangle to my workspace, You'll notice now that the contour editing tools are available because there's a contour in my workspace. And if I select that rectangle, now the toolpathing tools are available because I have an object to apply toolpaths to. You probably noticed that tools with common functionality are grouped together and could be accessed by clicking the drop down arrow to the right of the top icon. In this case, the shape tools are grouped together with the rectangle as the top icon. If I use the circle tool and draw a circle in the workspace, the circle is now the top icon in that tool group. The last used tool from each group will become the top level icon so that if I need to use that tool again, I can activate it directly from the toolbar without having to use the drop down again. All of the tools can also be accessed from the file menu. If I go to draw shapes, you can see all the same tools I was just using. The menu items open the same tools as the icon. It's just a different way to access them and you'll likely come up with your own preferences as you continue to use them. Try creating some contours in your workspace and check out some of the tools that are activated. And I'll see you in the next video.